Now I'm going to go to each of my individual identified list items and I'm going to position them absolutely. So I might as well start with the jacket. So I'm going to create a new rule and I'll do a compound selector and this is going to be LI pound sign jacket. Basically it's the list item identified as jacket. Let me click OK on this. There's my rule editor. I'll head over to positioning and I'm going to do position absolute and then click apply. And as soon as I do that, it makes my jacket list item a little bit smaller and it's right up here in the top left corner. Let me click OK. And then you I can click on it and move it to a different part of the page. So, I can also size this to fit. And I'll size it a little bit better in just a second. Now, I'm going to kind of repeat this process with one of my other items, my piece flags, flags. So, let me go ahead and do new rule. I'll just go ahead and type this in. LI pound sign flags. Then for positioning, I'll do position absolute apply. Just to see that, that it does that. Click OK. And I can move this out of the way for the moment. And I'm going to do this process for these three remaining list items. There we go. So these are my five list items. They are all position absolute and I've just drugged them side by side. Now I can kind of move them using my four way arrow. Four -way arrow. I can kind of stretch them out so that they are appropriately overlapping the items I want them to overlap. By the way, you don't want to have two of your hot spots overlap each other. So I want to make sure my helmet doesn't overlap the peace flags area or the bike computer area. And for bicycle, I'll start it here. Oh, yeah, see, that would be a problem. So let me move this down just a bit. There we go. So now I have these various hot spots. And we're actually doing really good here. The only downside to what we have so far is that the hyperlink is really just the text. Let me kind of show you show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and load this up. Uh, I will do an F12 and load it up into a browser. And here it is in Internet Explorer. And if I put my mouse into my Peace Flags area, I don't get a hyperlink. It's only when I get to the actual text for Peace Flags that it becomes a hyperlink. Same thing as maybe a little bit more noticeable in the jacket area. It's only a hyperlink when I put my text, my uh, cursor, right over the text for Yellow Jacket. So I want to fix that up. I want to make sure that my hyperlink is actually the full area. So let me just move that off to the side. Now what we're going to do about that is we're going to make each anchor tag a block element and then we're going to make the anchor tag the same width and the height as the list item. As an example for jacket, here's my CSS rule for it. So there's my list item for jacket and I see that my jacket is 106 by 266. Now I didn't type that in, that's just what happened when I resized that particular box. So 106 by 266. I'm going to make a note of that. Okay, now watch this. Let me just cancel out of there. I'm going to create a new rule. And this is going to be li pound sign jacket space a. So the anchor within my list item jacket. I'll go ahead and click OK. I'm going to head over to the block category and I'm going to do display block and then I'm going to go to the box category and set the width to 106 wide by 266 tall. I'll click OK and now despite the text being there the anchor tag is now a rectangle just as big as that green bordered list item. Here's how we can test it out. Let me go ahead and jump over to live view and now I get the little hyperlink hand whenever I move into that green bordered box because my anchor is as big as that green bordered box. These haven't been fixed yet. So there's live view. Let me do a little file save. Bring Internet Explorer back over and refresh. 
and I get the same thing over here. So now this entire rectangle is a hotspot, a hyperlink. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more here, and then I'll do a few others uh, off, off recording. Okay, so I'm going to try the peace flags now. My peace flags, the list item for those are 251 by 66. No problem. So let me create a new rule. li pound sign flags space a the anchor within my flags list item click OK block category display as block box category width is 251 height is 66 click OK Let's check check it in live view sure enough now that whole section is a hyperlink. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the remaining three. There we go, I finished the others. So now I've got hotspot for my yellow jacket, peace flags, old computer, bike helmet, and the bicycle itself. Now that I've taken care of that, I'm going to go back through some of my older CSS and let me just get rid of some of these, uh, at least let's thin some of these borders out so it's a little bit more realistic looking. So I'll head over to my unordered list rule, and I'll just select the border and delete that so the border is gone. And if necessary, I can adjust things. Now I'm hesitant, though, to adjust the width and the height of my hotspots because then I'd have to go through and readjust the anchor tags for them. But uh, I can at least move the positioning around a little bit here. Takes care of that. And there's our basic image map. So let me head over to live view and you know, the borders are on there they help kind of make things stand out but that's one way to go and just before we finish up you might ask well how what about that text that text is kind of annoying so let me go ahead and take care of that real fast let me jump over to live or turn live view off and I'm gonna go let's see what's a good way to do this how about let me go to split view real quick and I see here's my text for instance here's yellow jacket let me go ahead and select that and I want to ensure that I'm selecting really the text and I'm just gonna make it italicized which puts it inside a set of emphasis tags I'm gonna do that for peace flags and I'm just using the italicizing button on the properties panel and there's old computer go ahead and uh, italicize that bike helmet italicize bicycle italicize so now I have emphasis tags on the text within these anchor tags back over to design view here and so I'm going to create a new rule this will be a, another compound rule and I'm going to affect emphasis tags within anchor tags within list item tags then I'll click OK head over to the block category display none and then OK that makes the text disappear, but if I go back to live view, I still have the link functionality. So the link is still there, the link is still a rectangle shape, but the text within the link is hidden.